Right, we've joined Jamie Oliver in the kitchen where he's taking the fuss out of weekday cooking. His latest book, Mediterranean, is packed full of recipes that you can bake in 30 minutes or less using, and this is key, just five ingredients. Oh, yes. Isn't that right? Mm. And actually, Look at him go. This is, this is why people love it so much, because five ingredients, it's like, it's not overwhelming. No, no, easy shopping. Uh, keep things really simple. Uh, the Mediterranean give us that health, it gives us that flavour, that optimism that we all need in our life right now. Yeah. Uh, and lots of flexible recipes. So I hope you're going to love what I feed you today. Well, I think we most definitely are. Look at the colour. So of what that. is that you're doing now? So this, we're going to do a really quick pasta with prawns uh, and tagliatelle uh, and some uh, beautiful parsley, lemon. Harissa is the new ingredient that many people haven't tried before. You can swap out the pastas, you can swap out the prawns, you can yeah. really, it's, it's delicious and full of flavour. And Harissa's, Harissa is a little bit fiery? Yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's, it's not really that fiery. It's a really gentle, warm blend of chilies, sometimes peppers, uh, spices, pounded with oils. Uh, they use it in North Africa. It's part of the Mediterranean, Tunisia, Morocco. Yeah. Uh, and when you integrate it in some of our normal cooking, oh, my God, it's, it's wonderful. Elevates. And you can get it in all the supermarkets. So it's very accessible. It's the way we think about Mediterranean, the Mediterranean anyway, mm -hmm. Mediterranean foods change so much because people forget about North Africa. They forget about the spices and yes. the chilies. Yeah. Oh. We, just, we always just think of Italy and Spain, etc. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Uh, but most importantly, it's a really affordable flight away. So whether you're going there in reality or whether you use you the book to kind to of you. bring that to you, yeah. I think it's a really nice thing. But, of course, they've always been about simplicity. They've always been about amplifying vegetable dishes, yeah. uh, getting more of the good stuff. It's, it's, good a, it's a very famous diet, isn't it? You know, for, for you know, olive oil, citrus, herbs, healthy. veggies. I mean, it's absolutely. the healthiest diet in the world. Um, so show us what we're doing then. How are we okay. going about this? So, look, I'm plating yours. I'm taking my time, just chatting, chilling. Are we um, going to have a little... Why are you so these, far these away? Yours? I don't can we, know. Can we I'll come I, over to you, yeah, please? Come over, we'll that's... come over, we'll come over. Um, and look, um, <gasps> what we have here is a little dessert. Well, here, this is a oh, five-ingredient nice. dessert. And people will love it because it's a no-bake pastry base. Uh, it's just a, a nice bag of the fruit and nuts, wazzed up. Nothing more than that. You press it into a mould, right? We've got um, some uh, beautiful figs here. Have a little look at that. We've got Greek yoghurt, vanilla. Oh my God. And if you, can, if you can take over from that, just do one more. Okay. So five ingredients. Morning. It couldn't be simpler. That so vanilla, beautiful. Greek yogurt, wazzed up into that no cook base. You put it in the freezer so it's like a semi fredo. So it starts to defrost on you. It's fresh, it's clean. And you, I'm using figs because they're so can good I cut right into now. That? Please do. Okay, can fine. I ask you a really um, basic question? A lot of yeah. people are can you eat the skin of figs? Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, you go for skin. Some yeah. people peel them, but really, that's a really old fashioned thing to do that. Go for the skin. Absolutely delicious. And um, you can swap out figs for strawberries or, or any oh, berries that are really good and in oh, this season. This is a big lump I've just got Are we here. going to dessert first here, Jamie? Well, I'm just yeah. going to put it on the first. thing. Go for it. What, what your taste about this? If you're doing dinner parties, guys, or got friends coming round, or you just want something in the freezer for a rainy day... <laughs> I'm making it so look quick. so horrible. It's so easy. You put it in the freezer, someone Yum. turns up, or a bit of dinner yeah. party. When you serve a start or a main course, just take this out and put it in the fridge. OK. And now, you've got Jamie, a delicious dessert. I'm not wanting to rush you, but you've got, I think, for your pasta... You I know, you, you don't it. believe that I can do it in, in well, a handful of minutes. I do, I believe I that you do. You're let, Superman. Let me show you the way. You look. are Superman, the reason I'm, heard. You can do anything you want. The reason I'm yapping at you is because it's so easy. So, look, I've got some fresh spaghetti here. You can use tagliolini, uh, spaghetti, any fresh. pasta you like. I'm using prawns. Yeah. Right? Most of the recipes in this book are very, very affordable. Prawns are a bit posh, but I am on this morning. <laughs> uh, if you want to swap <laughs> the prawns out for mushrooms, yeah. beautiful oyster mushrooms, uh, halloumi, uh, um, things like that. Chicken? You oh. can swap little strips of chicken, little, little strips of fish. What do you think? The harissa is unbelievable. Let me show you. So wow. We've got the prawns here. I'm wow. using the heads. Oh. In the, if you look in the pan, and this is not very British, but go, you've got to go with this, guys. Um, uh, the flavour is in the heads. If you squeeze them, you get this incredible creaminess. Mm. The Mediterraneans would never not use the heads. We're going to go in with oh, the prawns, funny. and we're going to go in with a secret ingredient, harissa. Yum. And you can use this harissa as a marinade if you wish. In there, you've got gentle spices, and you've got gentle herbs, and, and it's really, it's really delicious. It's a lovely spice, actually. It's not hot. It's, it's, it's just really salivating mm. and gorgeous. I'm going in for a 11 a.m. prawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, early prawn. Do it. So Never you can early. see in there, the prawns only take two minutes to cook. So sure good. The pasta's fresh, but My basically God. you're set time-wise by how long it takes to cook the pasta okay. in your um, beautiful uh, packet, whether it's dried or not. I'm just going to slice up some stalks of the parsley. The prawns so are delicious. don't get rid of the stalks. No, don't throw them away. Um, when you chop, chop them nice and fine, they are <laughs> so <laughs> sweet and delicious. <laughs> and then we can use the actual leaves as well. We'll go in with that. 
And then what happens, the, in the Mediterranean, olive oil, herbs, citrus. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna complement that spice of hirissa. And by the way, any time you need gentle heat, try this. Yeah. Your stews, pastas. In all sorts of things. Or, or, you know, things if you're you buy doing... a jar of that and you use a spoon of it, will that last in my fridge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when I take a bit out, I put more oil in and stir it up. It's like the jar that never finishes. Oh, wow. It keeps the going oil, and going and going. It preserves it, seals it. Yeah, it just keeps going. So it's brilliant. Oh, OK. Look in the pan, guys. So look, this is how quick it is. We've got the prawns. We've got the chilli. We hit it with lemon juice. Oh. We've got that freshness and that deliciousness. I'm going to take the pasta and I'll drag it over. This water coming out of the pasta is essential. Don't put it in a colander and lose that starchy water. You want that water because it's the starchy water that blends with the lemon juice and the oil that creates that natural, incredible, creamy sauce. And that's it. Look that's at the colour, All I would do what, is just... That is it. The check that. Is amazing. My check God, that for seasoning. So you can adjust the chilli, you can adjust the lemon juice. If you want it to be nice and loose, just give it a little bit more water. And it's that water that sets the tone on how See, to me, of... this wow. looks like this looks like weekend food, but now I've watched you cook it, it's a it's a weekday. No, no, food. this is a midweek meal. Like, you can just do this. What page? What page? I, what page? I, I, I couldn't, no, I'm not that good, mate. But, Come you know, on, it's, it's, it. I'm using prawns, but you can swap it out and make this as affordable as you wish. Oh, I'll make it a Mushrooms, um, halloumi, I've seen people do it with tofu. It's a beautiful um, looking book as well, Jamie. Little What's strips there? of fish. No, thank you so mm -hmm. much. And there you go. And look at the juice, look at the juice. Coming out. Yum. Oh, People yes. have been um, wanting another five ingredients mm. book for a very long time. Yes. You have delivered. My wife made me do this book. Did she have that? Yeah, because people want short shopping lists. Yeah. They want tasty food and, and they want it to be easy. Yeah. So I think yeah. that's where we are right now and hopefully... It's delicious. This is like also... Delivered. And you're going to be Absolutely back a little bit later on as well. You're doing yeah. a chocolate and coffee pudding, so I'll look forward to that. You will love that. Jamie, thank you very much. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you. Thanks Absolutely so delicious. This is yum. Uh, for details of recipes from all of our chefs, check our free this morning app.